Hello everyone, this is Charles Bridgestick, again with another flashlight review, this time on a Manker U21. Comes a, this is a, an outskirt that goes over this box. Very simple, very well padded for delivery, styrofoamed, extra o-ring, comes with the lanyard there by Manker. Very nice quality. And that's everything that comes in that box. So let's get started with the light. Okay, so basically, like a previous video I did on a Manker MK34, this is a single cell design. This runs on a 26650. And yes, you do have to use unprotected high drain batteries okay showing you very nice finish on this the button is recessed enough where it can be protected if you put it in a holster i do have a holster for this did not come with the light i bought it separately and very nice finish on here very nice machining excellent quality machining and finish on this all right now we're going to move on to the reflector wow talk about a deep reflector that is an axhp 35 high look at how deep that reflector is that's just crazy deep that's going to be an excellent thrower i can see it already that appears the reflector goes all the way down to the button area. So that's a long, long throw. And like all Manker products, they come with a very nice detailed owner's manual telling you various button configurations in the UI. And we're going to go over here to the light modes and the UI. It looks like on low it is 15 lumens, 100 lumens, then 300 lumens, 650 lumens, turbo is 1300 lumens, strobe and SOS are both, or excuse me, strobe is on 1300 lumens and SOS is only on 100 lumens. Interesting. Now, because of the USB port, this is only has a rating of water resistant of IPX7 so be careful not to submerge this light has a good distance shock resistance of three feet but look at the range on this light 700 meters that's crazy that there is very close to my big hike light uh, Buffalo that I did a review on also from that one cell flashlight crazy all right let's move on okay now that I've taken the battery off or the cap off for the battery that is an extremely heavy-duty spring on that very heavy-duty And that is dual springs. That is a dual spring. That is really nice. Well lubricated threads, which is nice. And uh, we're going to go ahead. And the battery I'm using, which is, I've had very good, good luck with these. This is, or this is the MX JO IMR twenty six six fifty. And this is a 4200 milliamp with a 22 amp burst. Now I do label my batteries, so it will be used with this light only, uh, as including charging it. And uh, I do have two of these, so I'm going to be swapping them out if it goes dead. Um, I won't be using the in or the onboard charger uh, port to charge the battery uh, very rarely maybe only in emergencies 
So that's the light um, and the battery. This is a slightly raised cell. All right, that's what I'm using. So let's go ahead and get this light back together and uh, go through the user interface. Okay, we're gonna start off on Moonlight. This is showing you the UI. And basically on Moonlight, low, medium, high, turbo. I mean, that's a lot of light. and press that it goes back down to moonlight which is about 15 lumens and that's the simple UI okay let's go over the hidden modes so basically from off you can go ahead and double click this and you get strobe single clicking it goes into a battery indicator now this is also can be used as a standby to let you know where the light is, I guess. But this is also a battery indicator and this will blink when you're down to 25%. Um, it'll start to blink uh, every couple seconds letting you know, hey, you need to charge this up. And you click one more time, brings you to SOS. Simple as that. And then click one time, goes back to strobe, or you can press and hold that to shut it off. Click it one time, goes right back to the regular user interface. Okay, I think that we're ready to take this little bad boy out to get some night shots. Sounds good to me. Okay. And we are having some issues with the camera. All right. And we're going to go ahead and start off. This is the Manker U21. I'm going to start off on the lowest setting. There we go. It's got a real good spot. And this is definitely, from what I was seeing earlier, it's definitely one of the smallest throwers I own currently that's just and we'll see if it'll make the tree of life I could see it by the naked eye it's making the tree there I'm not going to go any further with this but it's got some go ahead and get to water spout go to the next level all right and you can see the beam on that wow Easily making 25 feet, the tree along the fence. Across the park, it's got some good range. Spill is not bright enough. Uh, it's sort of usable, but the spill is uh, not bright enough really to be... Eh, I guess you could use it pretty easily, but definitely needs to be a little brighter for me. And easily making... The tree of life and it is reaching the school wow look at that all right so we're going to go over here to the spout again we're going to go up to the next level all right a little improvement there even in the spill is a little brighter now very usable at this level Very nice. Excellent range for this single cell flashlight. Can't believe how much I'm going to lift it up above my shoulders here. It's definitely got some good range to it. There's the tree of life. Usually making that and the one behind it. One behind that. Usually making the school now. Try the palm trees. Wow. And it is making the palm trees. Oh, 
Wow, I'm very impressed with this Manker. Um, and this is definitely more compact than the other throwers I have. So let's go to the next level. All right, I had already turned it up. And now we're usually seeing, it's got some good spill there. See it now, very usable. Along the trees. Making it easily to the playground across the park. 25 feet away. Across the grass into the other diamond baseball field there. Famous tree of life. Palm trees, easily reaching the palm trees. That's great. Great throw distance on this. Good job by Manker. Wow. I'm very impressed. All right, that's Turbo. Now I'm easily seeing a very good spill. Complete 100% usable light there. Look at the range on that. Easily hitting the park across the way. Look at that. That's crazy. For a single cell, 26,650. This has definitely become one of my favorites. This is performing outstanding. I can't get over this. Look at the trees. It's easily hitting the trees clear over on the other side. At least three or four hundred feet or more. Usually hitting the tree of life. Usually hitting the school. Look at that. You can see the spill. Look at that. See if it makes the palm trees. Look at that. With ease. Excellent. That is showing really good range oh this is definitely one of my favorites now this is definitely my favorite thrower for the size and the power this thing is doing and it's not even lukewarm um, yeah it's not even lukewarm I'm very impressed with this Manker U21 Oh, this is just great. I hope you guys can see the excitement because this is just a quality torch and the sheer range it has on it is quite impressive. I, I can't believe it. This is crazy. And you can clearly see it into the sky. Very powerful beam. Very nice. Very nice. Got to do one more sweep around here because this, this deserves more showing. Very nice. Oh, I'm very impressed. All right. I hope you enjoyed that. Wow. I hope you enjoyed those night shots on this little guy. Unbelievable throwing power this thing has for the size of a single cell light or a single cell battery in this. It is a high powered cell, very powerful, but this range on this is incredible. It clearly showed distances well beyond some of my even bigger lights that I have uh, with authority. So I recommend this light. I'm giving it a 10. It deserves it. It just shocks me, uh, impressed me, everything you can think of. This is a quality light. Manker did a really good job with this. Um, when I brought it back in, I left it on high for quite a while. This just barely got warm. So you can run this thing on turbo 
I'm pretty sure for the whole, whole duration of the output on this, at least 20, 30 minutes, even 45 minutes with ease. Um, has a lot of good uh, features as far as uh, being able to charge this via USB micro. Um, that's a plus there. It deserves the score I gave it. Uh, I hope you like this video. Please like and subscribe, and I'll see you on the next video. Thank again for watching. Take care.